Hi people, welcome to this video. My name is Brian from briartech.co.uk and today I want to talk about wireless network security. Now, I know a lot of my customers still are using unwireless, uh, unprotected wireless network. Now that is really, really dangerous because obviously people can connect to it. Now you may say, ah oh, well, who gives a crap, you know. But hey, if someone's downloading music, videos, porn, child porn, anything of that nature, then you're going to be held responsible for it because you, it, it's basically by law you are responsible for your own network. So if someone is connecting up to that and you don't know what they're doing, then you are held responsible for it. You're the paying customer for BT, Virgin, Talk Talk, or whatever it may be, and you are the one that's going to get a knock on the door for this illegal downloads. So it is wise to actually lock the network down. You know, you just got to think of it logically, really. You wouldn't go outside your house and leave your front door open hoping that no one's going to come in because they will and they'll rob you. So you lock your front door. You should do the same with your wireless network. Okay? Don't assume that no one is doing this sort of stuff. There's loads of people downloading stuff and you will be held responsible. So, now we've got the scaremongering out of the way, let's just talk about the security things and how to get around it and, and how to stop people easily connecting to your network. Well, or if you are connect, or if you are secure, you may not know. So the first things you want to do is just to check. I mean, there is companies like Sky, for instance. I'm not recommending Sky, by the way, because I don't like their uh, internet. I think it's really, really crap. But they do send out. There's one good thing they do do. They do send out the router with a pre-installed security key on it. So which means it's already set up. You ain't got to go in here and do it all, which is really, really good. I think a good, a good approach because that means it's locked down straight away from the off. Um, so if they can do it, why can't shops do it? It's easy done and it's going to be much easier for people. So here you go, this is a view wireless networks, you can see the links it's here is open and these ones here are locked and this one's unsecure as well. That means anyone can just click on this and go connect and then they're on their network. Okay, we're going to make it even harder than that because we're going to make it invisible so people can't see you and it makes it harder for them to probe you because obviously if they can see they can probe you. They can actually try to crack your password. So that's the reason why I make it invisible. And we're going to show you how to do that today. So the first thing you want to do is get your wireless router IP. So you can log on to the menu system. Now you can do this in a few ways. You can either go uh, IP configs forward slash all and this is the actual window you will get and I'll show you where to do that. Start, run, CMD, click OK, type IP config space forward slash all and then push enter. I'm not going to do it because it will show you all my MAC addresses and stuff like that. So this is what you'll get and don't take no notice for the red things at the moment because I've got this off the internet. The one we're looking for is default gateway. Let's give you 192.168.1.1 now that's the actual IP to log on to the actual router itself. <coughs> okay, Mind, they'll be slightly different for each router that you've got. Okay, now if you don't know this, it will be on, as I said, on the bottom of your router itself, that, that, num that IP will be on there. And also, if you go to the manufacturer's website and type in the manufacturing model number, uh, it's, you know, say for instance D8695 or something like that, uh, and go down to that model, it will tell you what the actual IP is and all the page, how to set it up, and that's how you would go about it. It will also be in the, the actual pamphlet that you've got, the actual when you bought the machine if you still got it okay so anyway so now we've got our IP we're going to log on to the actual page there so let's go up the top open up Explorer or, or Firefox whatever floats your boat uh, 192.168 mine's .0.1 okay and you will be asked to log in now by default uh, these are uh, admin and admin or admin and password or admin and blank you need to find this out now you can actually find that out again at the main manufacturers website or there is a website out there or we'll have to try and find a link for it that actually gives you a long list of default passwords and that now you may already have a password set up from an engineer that's done it if you have and you've got it written down happy days just use that and log in yeah so anyway so you log in and then the first thing you want to do is change your password to something you know so go into admin tools here yours may be in a different location but look through for the password admin change it username change it 
so you know it's something that only you know okay that's the first thing save reboot the router and go back in next thing you want to do is go into your wireless settings setup click on wireless settings and this will be the window you'll see something similar to this now this is your enable wireless uh, connection which we want to leave on obviously this is the SSID key and that's called test for instance now you need to make sure that this is on every machine that connects to your wireless network now do you remember when I said to you uh, we had this picture down here to sh show um, wireless networks view wireless networks well as you can see here this is listing them all this is your SSID key this links this and wireless network blah 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 yeah so there that's your actual SSID key we're going to actually disable that so you can't see it that means people can't probe you so let's have a little look there so we've got our test up there and you can see here visible or invisible I'm going to go invisible on this one okay and then come down and make sure we're going to put our security key in now then you've got a choice here web WPA personal or WPA enterprise or you've got WPA2 okay make sure you're on WPA2 TKIP and AES and this is where we put our key in then this key must be on all computers or laptops that are connecting to your wireless network now the rule of thumb is don't make it too easy but don't make it too hard that you forget it you know what I mean so basically don't do one two three four five because that's too easy but don't make it so bloody hard that you know you need to be a contestant of the Krypton factor to bloody crack it because otherwise you'll never remember it yourself so don't go one underscore six eight five dot star backslash this that god knows what because you're never going to remember that yeah so just do it something simple after you've done that save the settings and that key needs to be on as I said I'll repeat myself on every machine okay so if you go back to this you will see you won't see your this is what the difficult part is you won't see your network here now so you may before you make it invisible you may want to put it set up all the computers first then go invisible otherwise it's going to make it a bit more tricky for you to actually set up okay so bear that in mind before you go invisible set up all the computers on the network with the same key then go invisible and then you'll be okay okay right next the next thing you want to do is which you could do as a secondary secondary sort of a uh, security measure is network filter or it's called a uh, Mac filter now what is your Mac address you're saying well the Mac address where can I find it it's on every bit of hardware that you get so if you look here uh, where we have IP config remember I typed in there and you can see these red ones they're your Mac addresses okay now as you can see a wireless network connection and it says so that's our MAC address that's the one we want we don't want this one we want this one so we want the wireless one 001195FA6691 okay you go back to your um, MAC address settings make sure it says turn on allow computers to connect in this area of network or access to the, to the network you can deny it but I wouldn't suggest that just leave it on allow and this again every computer must have the MAC address in here so you just type in a MAC address like so save and that's done okay reboot the machine and you're all done anyway that should be all you set up and you should be all nice and secure now and when you look in the actual view network settings you will not be seen and you will be nice and secure my name is Brian from brightech.co.uk I hope this tutorial has been some use to you and it's pretty simple have a go yourself don't, be, don't leave don't leave it for chance to open. Know that someone's not going to connect to your internet. Lock yourself down and be safe. Happy surfing. Bye for now.